that is the scariest scariest zombie movie I've ever seen and it's not even in it's not even in English that's oh. the crazy part did they show tearing people open and, they show and everything pull, did they show, uh, these zombies are running okay that's Ooh. how that's that, uh, that's how scary it is now that, yeah, that they don't even speak much too so it's that's oh. another thing well yeah so guys out there my question to you, and Sorry you can, for, hey please message me at uh at uh, motorcycle talk by Gary at gmail dot com. Motorcycle talk by Gary at gmail dot com. Uh, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow morning and you drove halfway to work and you realize things are strange? Like you're the only car on the freeway, and all these other cars are like pulled off the road with their doors and hoods open, and and you, you see like all this and red stuff on the seeing road. gas cans on the floor on the ground. Yeah. And uh, all these car wrecks, and you you keep going, and, and you start seeing no and you, gas. It, yeah, signs. and you, now you, now you're going through Manhattan, right? And you're going over the bridge in Manhattan. You might and, not be able to go over the cross the bridge because yeah, they might have uh, blown but, it up. Well, they know they to quarantine have, it. No, you see all these cars just you know it's stuck on the on the bridge, right? And you can't get through, so you get out of your car, right? And next thing you know, this luscious lady with blood on her face is coming at you, kind of walking like uh, she's been riding a horse. I'm sorry. I, know, I, I almost lost that one. Uh, and, and you realize that she's a zombie, you know? But you don't realize it because you don't realize there's zombies running around. So and she's trying she, to help her. Yeah. And then all of a sudden. Yeah, and she's trying to bite you in the neck and bite your arm and tear the, your flesh off you. What do you do? I mean, the, you, do you jump off the bridge? I know. Her look, wait a minute. Now, you notice right there on the side of the bridge on one of the girders, it says, in case of emergency, drive off the bridge. <laughs> now i i always wondered do you drive off the bridge like you just you know but in the case like this in case emergency you drive off the bridge and now you got the zombie you know well, you can you can drive off that bridge that, bri I, I, that bridge is huge yeah well <laughs> I, I mean do you um you know do you jump off that bridge because the sign says case of emergency drive off the bridge so i don't know i i i tell you it'd be so scary you know to find out the civilization is resorted into you know your worst nightmare civil civil destructure instead of in it's in, instead of civil infrastructure, it'd be civil destructor. So it, yeah, it'd be the opposite. So yeah, basically how do you nothing. how would you, how would you like to be the groundskeeper of a cemetery? And all of a sudden, you know, you you walk in there because you hear a noise at night. And you got your little flashlight, right? And you have your dog Spike, and your dog Spike loves you, and you love your dog. But you hear this noise, and you say, hey, Spike. Go get it. Go get it. Right then, you hear your dog go. Whoa! And now you're know? now you're zombie. Now your dog. Now, now you now your dog is the zombie. Sorry. No, you <laughs> you walk. You know, and you find your dog with its head tore off. You know, and Never and, mind. and 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 its stomach tore open like sausages Ew. laying oh, around no. everywhere. And now, what do you do? You don't. You're wondering what is going on. And then you're taking your little flashlight, which, by the way, it's one of these ones from China. The bulb is starting, or the batteries are starting to fail on it, so it's not very bright. But you, you kind of like you shine it over the over towards those tombstones over there, and you realize there's a guy dressed in a suit from the 1980s, right? And it, it has holes all over it, and part of his face is gone, and his you know, and he's walking kind of like with a funny, like his legs are kind of like, I don't know, broken. And he's coming towards you and he's going, oh. now, what would you do? I mean, you know, I would, I would you sit there and run back to your little cabin in the cemetery and call your boss and say, I quit. Or would you realize that something is strange when these bodies are coming out of the ground and not freshly planted ones. I'm talking ones that's 10, 20 years old coming up. That'd be scary. Well, yeah, it'd be really, you know, out there, you know. It'd be really out there. It'd yeah. be hardcore. <laughs> yeah, you know, or you, yeah. Send more cops. <laughs> yeah, send more cops. Yes, or or you're in the ice arena and you realize that you're the only one ice skating, and and then all of a sudden, like a horde of zombies are trying to run after you, yeah, and they're all falling down. Yeah, <laughs> you, just, you just you just 
blew my, <laughs> he just blew the punchline. Okay. <laughs> Cause they're the safest place you could actually be is in the center of an ice arena. Yeah. How are they going to get you? <laughs> they're going to fall on their ass. They, you know, the way they walk, they're going to hit that ice and they're gone. But now you got one other problem, Kevin. What? Okay. If everybody's turning into zombies, right? And you're an ice, ice Who, ring. What engineers are left working at the power and light company? That's why you got to go to a place that never runs out of power. I was thinking about that. You should definitely go to the Hoover Dam. If there is ever any a zombie apocalypse, go to the Hoover Dam, read the manuals on how to maintain it, and you'll be fucking good to go. Any dam that you go to, sorry for cussing, and I apologize for that. Thank but you. Go to any dam that has hydroelectric power and then you will be you'll have power forever because that power will never go away unless that unless the water disappears but well if you okay, if you maintain now, it you know, if you maintain it and you know how to maintain it and if there is workers there you will have electricity forever okay but the problem is kevin you know nothing about electricity. i know so i know, know that you that's know why you gotta happen. that's why you gotta you're, be lucky you're gonna go out there lucky. you're gonna go step out of the powerhouse and you figure oh this big wheel you turn that it'll make more power right so you turn that <laughs> i would so do that too here, here, here's kevin turning this big 20 I would do 32 like that. inch wheel right and he's turning this big wheel saying oh i'm increasing the power meanwhile he's letting all the water out of the dam so like 10 minutes later there's no water left in the, the reservoir so now you just have no more power now, but hold on see what you just did but hold on i have you did. i have a mind i have a crazy mind what i would do is you know how we'd uh you know how um you'd take a like a tube well i use a tube and i get like a really really long tube and then just start taking the water from one side and bring it to the other side through a hose yeah. somehow i don't know <laughs> you know what i would do i would i would hijack a submarine a submarine oh yeah. one of those nuclear nuclear yeah. submarines okay you know what i do yeah they, that's actually they, not bad yeah you you know you can go and stay underwater for you know like a but year you gotta figure out how to work those though you oh, go well, down you too just, far you just go you just go you know and push that button there go and dive you, dive yeah, dive <laughs> yeah you know i watched you know silent service that was a, a TV show back. It was made in the 50s about the submarines. I, I know all about submarines. You get in the submarine, you make sure you close the hatch. Yeah, that's the if first you, thing. Okay. <laughs> because if you don't close the hatch and you dive, okay? Oh, Yo, you won't die first. You'd flood and it, you go hit the bottom and then you die. So I didn't, painful I, death I, I didn't say die. I said you dive. You oh, dive the you submarine die. and then you left the hatch open. Oh, I you know, die. Yeah, that's but very. Die, though. That's a bad way to uh, uh, die. High uh, pressure you know. and a lot of water coming in. Ooh. Yeah, and then you know you, you lock yourself into like one of the rooms, waterproof rooms. You realize there's zombies in it. You're talking about the zombies that you just went in, or the the zomb. They were on the submarine the, that the you crew, went in. The crew. There was a couple crew members that didn't get out of the sub, and now they're zombies. They're zombies. Now you're trapped. What do you do? Okay, you, you, if you open like that, that door, that hatch, okay, that waterproof room, you flood it. You're dead, right? Or what do you do? I know what I would do. There's a <laughs> torpedo. I would sit there and find the biggest wrench I have, and hit that front of that torpedo hard as i can and get rid of the the uh, zombies but where are you at you're just in a waterproof room how would you hit a torpedo i because it was a torpedo room oh okay and there's this big torpedo laying there on the rack okay so now i'm sitting there right and there's zombies want to eat me so now so uh, uh boy uh, him and that microphone was dangerous so now <laughs> I t uh, he's bumping it and, and and vaping in front of it and making all this noise so now you take this big wrench right and they got these zombies that are trying to bite you you figure okay guys i'm gonna get rid of you you do, you're so stupid you don't realize when you hit that front of that torpedo you're gonna create the biggest blow job in the world you're gone you blowing up the ship you're gone you yeah, you took out a couple of zombies, but you just killed yourself. Not a good plan. You know what I would do? I would do one step better than you, Kevin. What's I that? I wouldn't take that big wrench and I wouldn't hit that tip of that 
that torpedo. You said you would. No, I changed my mind. I'd realize I would take that wrench and hit the zombies in the head. Oh, so you wouldn't make it more complicated for yourself. Yeah, well, you know, two zombies in the head. I don't know. Um, it's just one of those strange days. So, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, one of those. Yeah, it happens. When Unless you want to see a big explosion, then just hit the yeah. torpedo. If you want to not see an explosion, just take the wrench and pop him in the head. You got yeah. two uh, stories and two outcomes that could happen. Uh, I, that I, is two paranormal events that could happen, two possibilities. This is what happens when you only have a guest for one hour. You got an hour to kill and you have nothing planned. Okay, so now, okay, you're out. What, what, what else could you do about zombies? Okay, you wake up in the hospital and you realize that uh, everybody's been, or a nursing home. Could you imagine zombies from uh, these 80-year-old 80 80 year old zombies? I mean, it, okay, put it this way. How many 80-year-old zombies, if they bit you, are going to draw blood? Okay, because put it this way. If they're in the nursing home, most likely after they turn in the zombie they're not going to be smart enough to take their false teeth out of that glass of water next to their bed so they're going to be no teeth so they're going to be out there the worst they could do is gum you so you know what can i say so anyway um zombie movies i i think are exciting uh could be better could be better i, I like the walking dead i watch it every week you know I, I just, my main pet peeve with it is, like, how did they originally start? Why don't they starve to death, okay? And, you know, uh, if you didn't like somebody, you could always feed them to a zombie. Hey, Kevin, you want to go for a ride tomorrow on our bikes? I know yeah. this. Yeah, zombie area. Um, you know, place. yeah, you know, maybe maybe what the military might do is round up all the zombies, right? And, and create a neighborhood's. And put signs up, beware of the zombies. And let the zombies just roam around in their neighborhood. They probably would never get out of their neighborhood very often. And if they do, then they, they, they shoot them in the head and they're gone. But these zombies don't realize anything, so they're just going to walk around, you know. And the helicopter comes by, right, and and and, and drops off a whole bunch of uh, uh, hot dogs uh, twice a day. And they're happy, you know, getting down their knees and eating these hot dogs. Yeah, you're talking about feeding the zombies. Yeah, feeding the zombies. That that would be a good way to, you know, take care of the situation. Just put them in the area and quarantine them. And, uh, and, the and, question is, how are you going to put them all in that area? Well, that's where you would come in handy. Oh. Okay. We would have you walk through that area with a uh, uh, with a great big sausage. And a cane too. Uh, uh, or a hot dog attached to the back of your coat without you realizing it. That'll draw all the zombies in the area. To follow you, right? So when, you know, when you get them all into the middle of that area, right, a helicopter will drop a rope down to you, okay, and then you climb up the rope. But I just saw something, Kevin. That wouldn't work with your case because you got a shoulder. It keeps going uh, out of, uh, you know. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, you you got okay, use a cane. Okay, so you got a problem right there, okay? If you you realize if if we were attacked by zombies, you couldn't defend yourself because if you tried using your one arm, your shoulder dislocates. You use your other arm, your shoulder will dislocate. And then you know what? You're going to get plugged because somebody else will see you walking around with your shoulder and arms hanging because they're out of joint. They're going to think, you know what? They're going to think you're a zombie. Exactly. And then they're going to take me out as a human. Yeah, or something. <laughs> but anyway, so guys, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of got far-fetched here. Yeah, we are just and, having fun. Yeah, we were just having fun because I kind of like freaked out tonight a little bit. I'm going to cut the show uh, short by about uh, 18 minutes. I'm sorry to do that. I, I guess I need to, uh, well, change things a little bit on the show. Uh, I do want to thank uh, our guests for being on the show and, uh, you know, all the listeners out there. And again, you know, uh, our show is going to make some changes coming up here in April. I'm going to be different hours. Uh, we're going to start at uh, 8 o'clock and run to, uh, I believe, 11 o'clock, uh, Monday through Friday. And then I'm going to have a one We'll hour. have a new studio as well. That way, yeah, we'll have a good... 
good studio. Yeah, we're going to have a new studio very shortly, uh, you know, and it's going to be really nice. And then the the summer, I'm going to have a late summer. I'm going to have a, a really a really good uh, uh, studio, and uh, it'll be kind of awesome. But also this week, uh, uh, I'm going to have. I lost chain of thought. So in April too, I'm going to have a show on the weekend for one hour and where you can call.